Hi, welcome to the atrium. As you can see, I have my sombrero on. I'm ready for Cinco de Mayo. Have my mocktail margarita. I'm hoping um, that everybody is enjoying this lovely, beautiful weather that we're having. Normally, I would be speaking to you live and we would be in our dining room having a wonderful fiesta. But unfortunately, during these times, we have to do something virtual. So this is my first YouTube live um, event, so I'm excited about it. Um, if you have any questions, you can certainly type them in and um, someone will answer your questions. Or you can call into the community at 732-784-9842 and speak to Linda Trulby, our senior sales counselor. My name is Amber Graves, and I'm the director of sales and marketing here at the atrium. This is going to be a brief um, presentation, um, a general overview of the community. Normally, we would give you a tour of an apartment. Uh, we're not going to be able to do that today. But if you would like to see what an apartment looks like, please give us a call and we can actually do a video and send it to you through email. So some of you are probably here for the first time and kind of wondering what we are. And um, we are a CCRC, and that stands for Continuing Care Retirement Community. The qualifications to come to a community like this are you must be 62 or older. You, uh, we financially qualify you through the age of 92, and you cannot need any assistance with your activities of daily living with four or more activities of daily living. And I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, we can go into more detail with a personal phone call. And why should you consider a CCRC? Now more than ever, socialization. I heard it before we became um, in quarantine, but now I'm hearing it even more. I need to get out. I need to see my friends. I need to be with people. So socialization is really a reason why you should consider this. The second reason is security and on-site health care when and if you ever need it. And those are really a lot of the reason why people are considering coming to a community like the atrium. So what does the atrium have to offer? As you can see behind me, we offer the river, the city, and the life. I couldn't um, show you that you couldn't be here in person to see the river, so I'm going to scoot over. And this is actually a photo of our back deck, which is absolutely lovely. And it's almost in full bloom now with springtime arriving. So what does the atrium have to offer? We offer many different amenities. One is a flexible meal plan with different types of dining options. We have a full service restaurant and cafe, full concierge services, daily activity, weekly housekeeping. They do come in, they change your bedding, uh, they clean and sanitize your bathroom and your kitchen, they vacuum and they dust. We have scheduled transportation. All of our utilities are included except telephone. 125 channels of basic cable, valet parking. We have an on-site beauty salon and barber shop. We do have on-site banking with an ATM machine. All of our residents here enjoy a membership to the Atlantic Club or the YMCA. We have wireless internet throughout our common areas a full fitness facility, our garden terrace, our landscaped gardens. We do have our own boat. We have a billiard room, card room, putting green. All your property taxes are included in your monthly service fee. We have a gift shop. But most important that we offer, as opposed to any of our other communities that are out there, is we do offer a snowbird credit. We offer 20% off your monthly service fee if you're gone for an extended period of time. So that's something that's really important to think about is if you have a summer home or you have a winter home, um, you're not going to have to pay your full monthly service fee. I am going to um, give you a um, quick, quick glance at that. So moving on. Um, probably the top reason 
in care retirement community is we're part of in-town senior living. People love being part of downtown Red Bank. They love the urban feel of it. They love that they can walk into the community or walk out of the community and feel like they're part of a multi-generational, multicultural town. So the neighborhood itself is our greater campus. I have sister communities that are beautiful, um, but everything is kind of on their campus. Our campus is Greater Red Bank. Um, we are a stone's throw away of River Gardens Park. You can walk into downtown Red Bank in about five to 10 minutes. Um, if you don't want to walk, we have scheduled transportation that can drop you off in the heart of town. We have a wonderful farmer's market every Sunday when the nice weather. We have car shows. We have 88 different restaurants to choose from. So there's a lot that Red Bank has to offer. So what's your biggest concern about your current lifestyle right now? Normally, people would answer this question. So I will answer it for you. Typically, we hear it's home maintenance. That's the number one reason why I want to move out of my house is I don't want to have to worry about snoveling, shoveling snow anymore, getting my roof repaired, cleaning my gutters, changing a light bulb, putting up batteries in my smoke detectors. These are all reasons, you know, no, we don't want anybody on a ladder. I don't want to be on a ladder changing smoke detectors, batteries and smoke detectors. Health concerns. My health is changing and I, I, I want to make this decision. I don't want my kids to make the decision for me. Loss of independence, staying active, burdening my family. But now more than ever, I think people are really concerned. Am I going to run out of money to live comfortably? Once you speak to myself or Linda Trulby, we can certainly talk through your financial picture. We can tell you everything that you need to know about the financial investment for coming into a community like this. We'll talk to you about your financials and we can pick an apartment that will, will fit your needs. It's just a 20 or 30 minute phone call for us. A lot of people will call me and say, Amber, I don't think I can afford to live there. And I ask them to give me their financials and I can let them know within 45 minutes if this is an option for them. So don't ever be worried about giving us a call and talking about that with us. I can tell you that I'm an adult child of a parent that we moved into a continuing care retirement community two years ago. My mother lives in California. I'm from California originally. And um, you would think after 10 years of being in the business that I would be someone who could get her to move in. And she was only going on her terms. And I will tell you, um, it was the greatest gift my mother ever gave my siblings and I was making the decision. Her decision was really made when she decided to stop driving. That was really um, what made her decide to move. And she tells me every single day, and I talk to her every day, how wonderful of a move it was and that she actually wishes she would have done it a little bit sooner. So I hope you can um, take my advice as an adult child. Um, and if you have children that you're concerned about, whether they're going to be able to take care of you, um, I think it's something to really consider giving them as a gift. My mom did live with us for about 19 months and um, it, I loved it. She, however, did not because, you know, my schedule is so busy and my husband's schedule is so busy that she said, you know what, there's there's just I, I need to be at a place where I can um, be with my my own peer group. You're not my peer group. So that's a little bit of advice for my mom. People often ask me, does my lifestyle have to change moving to the atrium? And I say, no, your lifestyle doesn't have to change. You can, the only thing that really changes is your address. You can still belong to your country club or your beach club or your golf club, or, or you can get the paper delivered right to your front door. You can have your pet here. Nothing really has to change. You can still travel as much as you want to. You know, Linda and I were speaking to somebody recently and about why they made the move here. And she said, you know, I had a big home. I was by myself and I wanted to travel. And I was so worried when I was gone that the house was going to broken into or if I went in the way in the winter, the, the you know pipes were going to burst or who was going to take care of it. And she said, moving here, all I do is walk out the front door, tell you I'm leaving. You collect my mail, take care of everything for me. So then actually um, she feels even more independent by moving into the, the community. I can tell you that um, we had 
two people that have moved in in the last four weeks during um, this crisis. And they are so thankful that we were able to accommodate them during this. And um, they are, I, we've gotten emails from them recently saying that it's the best decision they ever made. So even during this time, we've been able to move people in. The convenience of living in a multicultural town like Red Bank is you have a lot of choice. Uh, you can walk across the street and go to Walgreens. You can get your, um, you know, medication if you need to. We can give it, get it delivered here. The big reason that people um, think about, you know, opting, um, choosing a limited dining option with our restaurant is because we have 88 different restaurants to choose from in downtown Red Bank. So. That's a, another reason why people think about Red Bank as their new home or, or their extended home. So to get into kind of what does this all cost? Um, there are two fees you can expect to pay when you come to a community like the atrium. One is an entrance fee to get in, and the other is a monthly service fee. The entrance fee is a one-time payment. It cannot be financed. We offer a refundable entrance fee and we offer a traditional entrance fee. The refundable entrance fee is a percentage of the amount that you paid will be returned to you or your estate when you're no longer living at the community. The traditional plan is a declining balance. There are no monies returned to you or your estate after 48 months. We decline it by about 2% a month. And there, that is a lower entrance fee to come into the community. A lot. To, my smallest apartment is 487 square feet, and my largest apartment is 1,682 square feet. So we have a lot, a lot of options to choose from. The second fee that you're going to pay is a monthly service fee. The monthly service fee is one check, and it takes care of everything. You have 18 fewer bills to pay online or to write checks to every month. So um, the thing that's nice about knowing what your monthly service fee is going to be, is it, it's the ability to predict what you're going to spend versus big expenses. So you know that every month you're going to pay a certain amount of money. Um, and if your if our water heater breaks or something happens and goes wrong with the community, we're not going to pass that cost along to you. So it's the ability to predict your expenses for the year or for the month. Obviously, if you're going to have anything additional, if you're going to go to the beauty salon, that's going to be an additional charge, and that's going to be on your monthly service fee. But it looks just like a bill that you would get at a hotel. The average increase that we've had over the last 10 years in our monthly service fees is about 3.5%. We increase our fees based on um, food costs and energy costs. And if you're in need of permanent health care, you will incur an increase in your monthly service fee. And I can certainly talk to you about that um, on a personal call. So I'm going to give you some pricing examples. Um, I'm going to put up um, a, a slide and um, let you know what the costs are. So a one bedroom, one bath apartment is as low as $112,000 with monthly service fees of $3,026 for a single person. A two-bedroom, two-bath apartment entrance fee starts at $289,000 and a monthly service fee of $5,200 a month for a single person. If you are part of a couple, you're going to add a $17,000 entrance fee for the second person and $1,597 on the monthly service fee. So that's just some pricing examples that we have. Um, as you can see, uh, we have two bedrooms that start as low as 1000 and one bedroom that start as low as $112,000. i would be happy to send when this is um, when we're finished, just give us a call and we'll put something in the mail to you. People often ask me, um, "Are your prices negotiable?" Um, and it's it's a real estate transaction, so our prices are not negotiable. I'll talk to you a little bit later about 
um, when the prices can change. So one of the things I wanted to let you know is apartments. Um, we're a brand new property as of 2013. All of our apartments have granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, wood cabinetry, tile flooring. We can offer um, simulated Cortex wood flooring. All of our apartments do get painted and carpeted before somebody moves in. If you'd like to upgrade with closets or new cabinet selection or countertops, we can certainly give you our different color palettes that we have. Um, just depending on what you want, that would be an upgraded charge to you. But again, you can modify the apartments. Um, uh, the cost would just fall upon you, and we can certainly talk about that. So what I think is a good next step is you're going to get in the mail, um, in the, the brochure, a compare your cost analysis. And one of the things that you want to do is figure out what am I spending my money on now? Do I have a mortgage? Do I have a home equity loan? What are my property taxes? Average property taxes in Monmouth County are $13,000 a year. Include that in your, in your expenses. What are you spending on gardening? What are you spending on snow removal? All of those things. And compare your cost to what the costs are at the atrium. And you're probably going to be spending about the same amount of money in your home that you would be spending at the atrium. One of the things that we do is we like to interview our residents after they move um, into the community and we get quotes from them. And one of the quotes I, I, that I really loved is, I moved while I was healthy and still enjoying all that Red Bank has to offer. Most people wait probably five years too long to marry, uh, to, to marry, excuse me, to move in. Um, and I always tell people, move before you think you need to move in. And even if you get here and you feel that you might be a little bit, you know, too young, most of the time people say, I'm really glad I did it. My youngest resident is 67 years old. My oldest resident living in independent living is 102. So, um, and everything kind of in between. Most people, again, wait a little bit too long. And I think it's really important, especially now, now, now that you should consider making a move sooner rather than later. The other quote that I have that I love is, I want my children to care about me, not to care for me. I know that before my mom moved in, every time I would go out to California to see her, I spent probably 90% of my trip cleaning the gutters, changing light bulbs, putting smoke detectors in, just sort of general doing general home maintenance for her. And I didn't get to spend the time with her that I wanted. Now when I go to see her, it's wonderful. We don't have to, I don't have to worry about any of that. I just get to spend time with her. So um, we do have availability. We have beautiful water view apartments available. Um, the next step would probably for, be for you to schedule a virtual tour with myself or Linda. And we'd be happy, we would be happy to do that. Um, in order to secure an apartment, it's a 5% deposit of the entrance fee, and you need to move in within 60 days of that date of deposit. We do have some flexibility on that, and we can talk about that. If you're not ready yet and you'd like to um, make a waitlist deposit, we can certainly take a waitlist. Our waitlist is $5,000, and um, that's refundable at any time. So... I want to talk to you a little bit about Spring Point Senior Living um, and my parent company. We are a proactive company. We respond to um, all the changes that go on within the community and outside of the community. Most importantly, we've really wanted to respond during this um, COVID pandemic. And we understand that people move to a community like this. And we've made some significant pricing savings opportunities for people to help remove some of the obstacles that have occurred with possibly the financial market being what it is, the home market, we're not sure what it's going to be. So we have some savings opportunities for folks. We, are, we, we call this our 2020 savings opportunities. We are going to be taking $60,000 off any two-bedroom apartment that we have available. $40,000 off any one bedroom apartment that we have available. 
In addition, we are going to be reducing the second person monthly service fee for a couple by 50% for as long as you live at the atrium. For a single person, we're going to be reducing your monthly service fee by 50% for, a sing for one year. So those are some significant savings that SpringPoint understands that we need to pass along to our um, depositors, to our prospects, to people who are considering this, but might be a little bit afraid because they just don't know if they want to make that investment now. We can give you more details about it um, if you give us a call. I am going to put this up on the screen so that you can see it in black and white. And again, this is SpringPoint Senior Living's commitment to our prospect base. So, next steps. As I said, you should schedule a, a personal appointment with Linda or myself, um, a virtual personal appointment, or even a phone call with you and your financial planner, your attorney. We can talk to anybody about our, you know, we can send you a copy of our disclosure statement, a copy of our resident care agreement so that you can understand it a little bit better. Determine who will be involved in your process. Are your children going to help you with this? Are family relatives going to help you? Is your accountant going to talk to you about it? Your financial planner, your attorney. We can speak to anybody on your behalf as long as you give us permission to do so. And if you make a deposit, you know, you can be living at our community by the summertime and enjoying this beautiful river view that we have. It is lovely. So does anybody have any questions they want to type in for me? I don't see any questions. You can certainly give us a call um, and we'll talk to you about that. But I want to thank you so much for your time today, um, for humoring me with my Cinco de Mayo sombrero, my mocktail that I have. I hope that um, everybody is staying safe and um, understand that we are here for you. We have not gone away. If you need to um, have resources for something else, we can certainly point you in the right direction. Don't hesitate to give us a call. My name is Amber Graves. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch me today on my first YouTube live video. Um, have a great day. Thank you so much.